So I've been hearing about this movement of the passport bros. That thing is rising on YouTube. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of women are upset. A lot of women are happy. There's a lot of black women who are against it. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> Venezuelan, Brazilian, Filipino, and some African women who are for it. What is it? What's it all about? I'm going to give my take on this bad boy. Passport bros, people, black men mostly who go and get their passport to go overseas to find love, to find a relationship, to find a wife, to find companionship. All of them have different reasons, but mostly it's going overseas to another country that's more traditional in their women to find love. That's basically what it is. I'm Jody Joe. Thank you guys so very much for being here. E-Man is in the building. What's popping, y'all? What it do? Let's get it. What's a passport, bro? How do you feel about passport, bros? What's what's your idea of these fools? I mean, I th I still think when I when I heard it before, I thought it was kind of crazy, but I see how kind of society is, man. And it's 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 really when you're looking for a wife, a lot of the women in this in this world where we right now, they don't know what wife material is. You know what I'm saying? The Americanized women here. Yeah. And it's not just black women. No, it's I not. Be, it's not just black women. It's the Hispanics here, the Asians here. It's, just being Americanized with this trash society that we have here in America where we just promote the wrong yeah. things in life um, will make will make a lot of brothers run to the hills. I get it. Yeah. They were for your pockets if we're a boss out of your mind. But we're talking about, I guess, a, a lot of the take is black women because if black men, they usually want to get with black women. Yeah, facts. And if they want to get with black women, the pickings are kind of slim, right? Yes, huge, and and it's that's it's still unbelievable that it's like that. So let me take a little listen about what someone what some woman says on TikTok. She's cute. She I like her dreads, all that. That she look nice, bro. She so let's see what she got to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have y'all ever heard of the movement called the Passport Bro? I just heard about it, and I think it's completely insane. So to my understanding, these are American men who are just tired of dating American women, whether they find us too difficult or we're not submissive enough, whatever. So they decide to go overseas and find themselves some foreign love. That's correct. She got it. She got the nail on the head there, bro. Yeah. We, we following so far? Yeah. All right, for sure. Let's go ahead and get back into it. Let's see what this is that got to say. And you know what? I'm the last person who can judge because of my situation. So I'm not here to diss them. But really, I think the idea is insane because of what I have witnessed in my personal life. So for the bros who are just doing this to have a good time, then I don't got to warn y'all because y'all know what's up. But for those of you who are seriously trying to look for love, I, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I doubt that that's going to happen. Hey, what up? It's your boy, Denzel. This is a message for you, passport bros. Listen, your problem is not American women. Your problem is Westernized women, okay? The Western world does not value marriage like the Eastern world. If you want a more Eastern traditional uh, uh, marriage, go towards the East. If you're a brother, go to the continent. Uh, European men have been doing this for a very long time. They've been going to go get Asian women from Facts. Asia. So let's talk about that real quick. So brother speaks in there. He's saying the same thing that westernized women, aka American women, you know, don't they're not traditional. No. And if you want a wife and a traditional woman, go east. Yeah. What's east? Thailand, bro. Hey, I will be going to Thailand because I will get I'm gonna be a passport, bro, by definition, I guess, because I want to go to Thailand and to Japan and shit. Not to find a wife. I want to go there, bro, because I've been watching anime and shit, bro. <laughs> and my dude, I just need to go to Japan. <laughs> I need to go to Japan to see me a geisha. I need to see some cosplay. I want to go to get me some noodles. I want to explore Japan. And I want to explore Thailand too because not only to mention that bot, the dollar to the bot is, you could take $1,000 in Thailand and live like a king. I want to experience that. I haven't, I'm not well traveled. Right, right. So I want to go to these places. I'm going to get a passport and I'm going to go. But I'm not going there to, to look for no women. I know the women are there. And I'm looking forward to, you know, <laughs> But that's not why I'm going. I, I still think it's kind of crazy, though, for men to, you know, as a man myself, to literally... Yo, Mike is all the way on the couch, homie. Let me come off of it. <sighs> as a man myself, I still think it's kind of crazy that uh, other men are really going out to other countries to look for love. I mean, it's true. And it's messed up that a lot of our women out here 
are not traditional. They don't know what that that word means. Hip hop, baby. Hip hop is total. You know, chase the bag, chase the man. A lot of men, women are career women. They go to college six years. They go get these jobs, and then they, they turn masculine, bro. Like they don't want to. They want to tell. They tell people what to do for a living because they got a master's degree at some company, and they come home and they don't see themselves submitting to no man who makes less than them. Yeah, this that's is, the thing, this, bro. This, 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 that's this. And these though. women with our American money on the east, it it it's more like we our money goes further. Our money could go far on the east. And you could take care of a woman all of her needs and then she'll submit to you. She'll be loving and compassionate to you. That's that's a very tempting thing. And I don't blame no black man. I'll say black. I don't blame no black man for going over there to go get that love and that, that attention that they're not getting here. I mean, if there's a problem here, you solve it by leaving. That's just how we... We, we deal with issues. If there's an issue and there's a resolution to it, seek that resolution out. Like he said right here on the camera, my man's right here said here, white men have been doing this for a long time, dog. I'm talking about since the 70s, that I, as far back as the 70s, since Vietnam and shit, bro. They've been going down there at war and been getting love. Like, oh, shoot. They they different over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of white men in Europe are have been living in, in, in Thailand and Asia. Most of them having like babies king. and then come back to America, exactly. though. No, nah, not come back to America. They go and they live there. They don't ever come back. White dudes have been doing this for decades, bro. And now black men are getting hip to it, bro. So it's not a, just a black man thing. I think it's still crazy, though, because I, feel, I see a lot of, I see, even, even when it comes to celebrity point, where there's a lot of male and who talk about black this and black that. You see them in the music videos. You see this, you see that. But in reality, when you see their wives or their baby mamas, they all other races. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, like, if it's more to it as the fact, as I said, like, you know, traditional. But I prefer, me personally, I prefer a black, a black queen. There's, a, you know, queen. There's queens all, all type of races. You feel me? How's it been working for you? I mean, you know, it, it, it's 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 slim. <laughs> it's slim. How's that been? How's that queen hunt been going? Huh? I mean, you know, you found one yet? Not yet. Not yet. How you long you been looking? How, how old are you? I ain't really looking though. You know what I'm saying? I, you I, were I mean, looking before the pandemic. You was looking. How how it been working for you? Thirty something years old. It was, it you ain't was, found that queen it, yet. It, it wasn't. I mean, cause uh, it, how long you been dating? Single? Uh, almost. Oh, no, five years. Six, almost six years. And prior to that, you got hold in a relationship, right? Yeah. By a black queen. I got hold by someone that I assume that it was gonna be different. But you was playing was, games. Yeah. And even before then, what? How was it working for you before you found before you was her? How has your life in dating been? What is the this, you're a black man in America? How has your dating life been, bro? Would I you mean, say how would you grade your experience with dating in Los Angeles? I would say like it's interesting, but as far as far as like you know, it's a lot of there's for some most women that I've actually dealt with myself, it's a lot of drama because a lot of those women are brainwashed. A lot of those women that I actually understand, ever deal I with, think you're gonna get drama anywhere you go. Yeah, because that's a part of you know the different the, the battle of sexes. A lot of a lot of them, a lot of them got a lot of mental issues to the point where you know, mama, daddy, daddy wasn't in life. Our daddy boy, issues. Our, our boyfriend beat him up. A lot you know of daddy what I'm saying? Issues. A lot of daddy issues in our community. Disrespectful, like you know. Um, I deal with situations like that. I also deal with women that were like soft and kind, but I couldn't see that myself because I was so used to just like these other females used to dealing with, you know, aggressive, uh, you know, um, not somewhat confrontational women yeah. compared to dealing with a woman who don't use profanity compared to dealing with a woman who was really kind that really would do something for you. So me personally at the time, I wasn't, I couldn't even connect to see what's right there in my face. And that's usually happened to a lot of us. So some of this is your too. fault. Then. Yeah, I can't You're taking your that. own responsibility. Yeah, I, as a man, I, I am. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, re I realized a lot of things I had to learn as a man. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of those women at the time, I, I kind of regret because it's kind of like, damn, I really fucked up. I, Do you I, think that your wife is somewhere roaming about Los Angeles? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. My wife could be anywhere. You know. I know. Where do you think your wife is? Is, is she I, here? I would want my wife to be in California, but if not, I, I will feel like my wife. Uh, if you can guarantee and put I, I all your say, money, I, I would say in, in America though, American, American. Definitely. All right, yeah, that's yeah. where you want your wife to be. Yes. All right. Well, that you got the hunt continues. You gonna find everybody. I believe everybody gets love three times in their life. Three real opportunities. What about yourself, brother man. If you blowing past it, huh? What about yourself though? How, how did Joe? life go from my dating life my then. dating life my dating career of was when i was single my did my dating resume in los angeles has been relatively you have some goody and bad okay right? it, i would say it's okay you know i've had some i've been in a lot of relationships i've had i've had about four 
maybe four or five serious relationships that lasted some years. And then I've had flings, one night stands and all that, you know, really typical LA, LA type of stuff. You're and religious. I can say that most of the, most of the women here, um, most of the women here are trying to get something from you. Most of the women in Los Angeles, they want something from you. Uh, women want you, they will, they want you conditionally, uh, under certain conditions. If a man provides a certain much, if he brings a certain amount to the table, uh, off top, a lot of women in LA, a lot of, even in America, Westernized women, they want you to pay all the bills and right. they want to, uh, they want you to be the dominant figure. They want you to su be submissive to them yeah, when yeah, they yeah. believe they're right. Yeah, yeah. Facts, 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 facts. And they want you to be emotional when they need you to be. They want you to be tough when they need you to be. They need you to be whatever they need and you should be doing it in that moment and you should know it without them having to tell you. And if they have to tell you, that's because you were doing a bad job and you don't read her communication skills very well. It's all the man's fault. <laughs> so you That's what I found out. So you don't it's feel all, like your queen is, is roaming in the... Uh, you know, around maybe yeah. Around there's, the there's. I don't know where. If I have a wife, where would I say she's at? I think she run around. She was she around here somewhere. I mean, I think she's here. Because don't get me wrong, folks. There is. It's a lot of good women in in in, in California and LA. There, there are. We just probably haven't came across them. No, 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 yet. no, no. We come across <laughs> them. It's just that we, we wasn't ready for it. I've yet. walked right by them in the sidewalk. We've passed. I'm pretty sure there was. There's been about five moments in my life where I felt a vibe walking past somebody, and it was just undeniable and I didn't execute on it. Yeah, I've done that before. They're like, I think we've all had those yeah, moments. Yeah. So, you know, I think that they're around here somewhere. Wherever I am, where my wife will be. If I live in LA, my wife's here somewhere. If I move to Texas or if I move to Bangkok, no matter where I go and I want a wife, I will have one. I don't have any doubt about that because I'm seeking it out. All right, you know Zod, saying? I feel you. I feel you, Zod. Hey, <laughs> but then again, I was told a good woman will find you. That's Let's go ahead and get back to this right here. So that again, and I know a couple guys, and they said it was the best thing that they ever did because they look for more of a traditional, um, traditional woman that values marriage and unity. So again, be smart. Don't be dumb. Don't be going to the Dominican Republic, which she was talking about. And don't go to Jamaica. If you look at the statistics of Jamaica, talking about women not knowing who their fathers is, it's crazy. All right? So stay away from anywhere Western, bro. Anywhere. Okay? If you're looking for love. Now, if you out there just playing around, you know, I advise not to. But, you know, you already got your mind made up. But those who are looking for love, look. The issue is the value of marriage. Okay, so go to where places where they value marriage. The value of marriage. Eastern. He's talking about Asians. Let's talk about this one right here. She's, I think she's Filipina, man. A lot of the Philippines are claiming a lot of black men. A lot of black men are going down there and they're finding a whole, they're finding a very good time down there. They treat black men down there like kings, dog. Because they Dear know passport boys. Dear passport bros. Stop calling yourself passport boys and passport bros. Are you going to the Philippines to look for a Filipina queen or what? So stop calling yourself passport boys and passport bros. Start calling yourself passport kings. That's right. You are a passport kings. Now, if you're going to the Philippines to so just pack around, pull around, screw around as many women as you want, then call yourself passport bros and passport boys. Otherwise, if you want to go to the Philippines to look for a Filipina queen and she will treat you like a king, then you better start calling yourself Passport King. Understood? Okay, so like there it is. Like There's a, a lot of... path, man. Like, you're going to run, hey, she run away. Would, hey, would you <laughs> she, marry, would you marry she's that? She's fire, though. She's hey, fire, though. She fire or what? She fire, yeah, she is. All, hey, she's kind of scary. All day down there, bro. <laughs> She kind of, was she scary? She's scary? How is she scary? Just, just her, her demeanor, her aggressive demeanor. Like, she seemed like she was, yeah, more for you. Like, she seemed like she'll cut your shit off. Like, she just, just really? seemed scary to me. Yeah. I get, I, I just get that. I don't get scary for her at all. That vibe. She look like she knows what she wants. So you, you want to. cheat on me? Yeah. Now, what happens when, what, what, what do, what do uh, sisters tell you when I they mean, cheat when, on when you? I mean, when the sister cheat on you, she might burn your clothes. I, you, 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 you ain't getting your, your man your man cut off. So, yeah. Um, black men are going down there and they're being they're being met up with her. And she, she, she looks good and all that, but there's so many more down there, bro. I've been watching the videos and shit and testimonials. So, I've, I've educated myself on what Passport Bros is. I've watched some channels who, who, who people actually live down there. Colombia, Brazil, uh, Philippines. Yeah, those three destinations. I've watched the channels of people who live there and they're reporting on it and saying what it's about, living the life. 
And it looks fun, man. It, it looks good. It looks like a good time down there. She even said, if you're looking there to have sex and just have a good time, then call yourself Passport Bros. And that's definitely a thing. Yeah. You could definitely just have a good time. A lot of dudes are going out there time. just to smash, bro. They not, a lot of, half of them are going out there just to smash to have a good time. You know, the, the, the biggest thing about most most men is that even though you, you try, it's like, it's like trying a cookie. You want to try other cookies out there. You know what I'm saying? There's so many other cookies that's exotic out there that you like, damn, I wonder what that cookie is like. So a lot of people are going other these other countries and states to try new cookies because they have the others already. But a lot of them live there and don't come back to America. So they go in there. And they'll never come back. The no- a lot of them have the ability to have their money being made in America, whether it be real estate or a YouTube channel or... Well, then you said the value, the value, too, of money is... is- is high your money will be higher to, to do, stay out there so so point of what's the point of going back if you like all right what's the point of me going back to mine if i know i'm I correct make, be a king out here and make correct that's what i'm saying okay. so a lot of them don't go back they stay down there or they'll go to another country down there and live year here two years here two years there and there's also black women in africa a lot of black men have been traveling to africa to find a traditional african woman so it's not about you know, just black women, people in Africa, hey, they find nice African woman who is, uh, wants to be submissive and all that, and the guy pays the bills and all that, and she'll submit to him and marry him. So we're going back to, people are going back to the motherland and getting treated like kings, bro. Africa kind of spooky. I got man. a question. Are, are passport bros, are men who go to different countries to find love or marriage, are they considered, are they weak? Because a lot of the women, uh, tease passport bros because ah you can't get no woman out here because you can't handle us do you think passport bros are weak for leaving the country to find love because they're not getting it in america uh i wouldn't say a a, a little bit a little bit i would say a lot of them are tired of the bullshit but i feel like a lot of them also too are not fighting more to try to find that their queen i feel like you you prefer to try to go somewhere else because you're not really really paying attention so you feel like you try so many times because there's so many women in, in in your state in your country and you're not even realizing you haven't every man don't talk to every woman in the world. Nobody have talked to everybody in the world. So it's like the top 10 percent of men are having sex with all of the women out here, bro. There is, so what about the other 90 percent of men? They don't get no play. Because a lot of women out here don't want to look for no square. And a lot of men squares t- get passed up. A lot bro. of men too have, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, social disorder. A lot of men, don't, a lot of guys, too, don't know how to, you know, they'll get nervous to talk to the woman, you know. And that that's There's dating that apps too. that don't happen no more. That's that's when we was coming up. You, if you you had to be able to approach a woman in the street to get some love, it's not like that no more. They got those those Tinder and apps, dating apps, plenty of fish. You know shit. You you met your girl off of that shit. I ain't never I ain't never met nobody off no app. Yeah. Never will. I'm in these streets. You a sucker. <laughs> said like, that, said I'm, in these, I'm in these streets with it. Hey, <laughs> Catch me, me in the streets. You know that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it, not, not, not knocking anybody who does, bro. I just know that's the new age. That's the thing. Let's try something different. I mean, it's always to try something different. I mean, yeah, for me, yeah, yeah, sure, for, me, sure. for me, when I did it, I tried something different because it was like... You met a fish. You caught a fish. She was a fish. It was bullshit. But there, I mean, there, there you have, hey, it's a lot of people who So have why are men who come to them, who have been living here all their lives, giving up on being overlooked by, by their women, their black women, because usually a black woman either wants a successful man with a good credit and makes six figures... Those are the reputable ones. And then you got the ratchets who just want a thug type of nigga who's got swag through the roof. What about the middle ground? I would say those, Where's the love for them? I say those type of women are messed up. Those are the messed up women. There, there's women in the world who have been in, they grew up in the hood who also too are very, like I said, very educated, but also too yeah. will treat a man the right way because they know if they, you know, to, to, to do that. Sure. But there are women in the, there are, uh, I feel like a lot of those, those dudes. How many friends do you have? Enough. How many of us is it? We're all black, right? Oh, you're talking about yeah, yeah, black. yeah, yeah, yeah. How many of us are married? None. Oh, one. 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 Out of like over 10 people, bro. Yeah. What's that tell you? You got one friend that's married. Yeah. And all the other and ones are- His wife ain't even black. And all, and <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, we got one friend that's married and he chose to marry a Hispanic. Yeah, that's true. Because he's too short. Because yeah. black women don't like short niggas. Yeah, yeah that's true. Why the hell? Why, why, if we treated women like that and say, oh, I don't mess with chicks that, that wear a size dress above a size four. If you're over 130 pounds, I don't F with you. Yeah. We're, we're nasty, you filthy, sh- disgusting misogynists for saying something like that. You wear shoes, your shoes. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Go ahead. I feel like 
I feel like women like that are lost. And I say that because... What you mean? Women like that. How many women will not date a guy who's five feet tall? Black women. You're out of luck, my nigga. I, I You're out of here, G. I can't even count on my hand on my toes. None. None. <laughs> none. Yeah. If she's taller than you, Srap. Yeah. And for the most part, if she's eye to eye with you, for most women, <clears throat> and some of the women, if she's if she if she if you're five if she's five four and you're five six, you're still too short. Yeah. What even type if, of shit is even that? Even if you're five ten and she's five two or five, as you said, five four, she'll be you. You can look, you're looking over her and she still say. I like my man like six two, six three, or six feet. Now what is that? Six, that is nine. the equivalent. Like that, that is the equivalent of saying, if you're thick, I don't want to get with you. you. If yes. you weigh over 150 pounds, you're out. If your kneecaps bulge over, I'm good on you. It, it just tells me that a lot of women are shallow. A lot of women are, they yes. call men, they call us shallow. And if that's the case, why should the men stay here? Go. Let them go. You don't want them anyway, so why are you mad that they're leaving? That's my problem. Why are y'all mad that these Passport bros are going somewhere else and finding happiness. Y'all bitter and shit. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Right. They're, they ain't shit because y'all didn't want them, right? So let them go. If you didn't care, let them go. They want those You're going to have sex with the same 10% bros men. bros got bread. They don't want to. <laughs> Think okay. about that. E-Man really doesn't understand. I believe that there's a disconnection. I disagree with what you have the way you see the dating market. The way I see the dating market is totally different than the way you see the dating market. Of, of course. We disagree. I really understand exactly why people are le leaving to these other countries, bro. Because I see it. I got friends that get no box. And they want box, but they can't get box. But there's a Because women want different... They want the same type of typ typical guy. But could we say this too? That there's a lot of men in the world who don't know what it is to be a man because they never... Was taught or learned. There's a lot of women that don't know how to be women. Yeah, They're ratchets we, that's out what here. About, so yeah. A ratchet don't deserve a man. I agree. A ratchet gonna get a I nigga. Agree. I agree. A ratchet's gonna get a boy. I agree. A ratchet don't deserve a man. So what are we talking about? I agree. But there's there are there are guys out here who really don't know what's the point. Like you said, a man is well, what's the difference a man? A provider, a protector. Are a you of, one of those guys? I, Do you are you a man? Yes. Okay. Yes. I am. There's a lot of dudes just like you or even do more than you. Yes. And there So is, why why can't they get the time of day? I I feel Crispy that, works, my nigga. I feel that Crispy is a 30 something year old virgin. But Crispy don't get at girls. He don't talk to women. Why doesn't someone talk to women? Usually because they've gotten shut down in this cold space before. Or you're shy or and you isolated. feel like you're going to be you're, you feel, you're shy and you feel like you're going to you be don't, rejected. You don't take shyness into your 30s. You know, shyness in your in high school, yeah. Junior high, yeah. Some college, sure. Out of college, it's a little late for that. In your thirties, nah. -uh. There is a lot of percentage. There's a percentage of big, big, big percentage of men who are in their thirties, even in their forties, that are still shy to talk there's to men, women. There's men in their seventies who are still shy, but they still go out and do it because they know they have to. If you don't make a change, nothing will happen. This is true, but that is. But when you do, do so. when a man does put himself out there and gets shut down, that can make him go in his shit. Yeah, I mean, re rejection hits hard. It's the same thing. Right. This is why women say, "Are we in a society where nerds get play?" No. Exactly. No. So why would a nerd put himself out there when you know that the odds of you getting successful with a a nice black looking black woman no. is are very slim? I say this much, and this is something that, that, that's really hitting the, the ballpark on this. As a man, I feel that the, the men that want certain women, they go out their lane instead of staying in their lane. Meaning that you talk to women in your lane that like the certain things that you like, Cap. go by certain things you like. Cap. Some dudes will be like, okay, look, I want the chick that look like the freaking beautiful model Knowing that I got busted shoes, busted shirt, clothes, all that, or I don't check, or my hygiene That's is bad. That's what women do. But they prefer to have that type of woman to deal with. So you're saying the the nerds with no fits, no gear, no swag are talking to the prettiest of No, bitches. no, no. I said they want, a lot of them want to, but they can't because they feel like, you know, 
What does that mean? What point are you making? My I'm talking about you're are you saying that they're yes, going I, I, for the I, prettiest? I have the nerdiest are going for the baddest of bitches, right? They don't know they don't know to get like another nerd or somebody who's, who's there are a lot of dudes that are nerds that have got at females who are baddies and they got rejected and a lot of them come with fear. That fear come. I know a few of them. That fear come. When you hit with fear, cat. Fear stops you from Cap. doing a lot because you feel like you're going to get rejected. Speed, where, where where is this coming from, bro? I don't see that at all. I don't see. I do. I don't see the dweebiest of nerds going up to the most popular and prettiest girl trying to get at her. They be trying to go for to get what they can. They get it. They try to get at big girls. They try to get at freaking other nerdy girls. They don't. What are you talking about? Like, oh yeah, they going for the baddest broad at, at, at any in the I, club. No, 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 no. No, that's the opposite, bro. I seen a guy. I, mean, I don't care. Your before. one little situation don't mean many. Don't mean the most, my nigga. So why do you think? Why do, most of the that what you just said is for the women. The women are guilty of that. Most of the basicest women want the baddest of dudes. They don't have any uh, idea of self reflection. Some of the most ratchetest, nastiest, foulest dressing, uh, trying to get the most top tier guys. That's why the top ten percent of men are having sex with all of the women. Because all of the women want sex with the top guys. That's why the dudes who are handsome, bachelors, eligible, swag, thug, got a lot of money, good career, good credit, or whatever. Yeah, they use that makes sure they're having sex. Women. That's why they got they like 10, women. 12 different women. And they got they, big bank accounts too. They mix. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But the society we, the part of the society we live in right now, there's a lot of women that we feel that we see that's the beautiful and that's fly are, are into nerd shit. You know, know what I'm saying? And like, that's surprising. Like, like Megan Thee Stallion. That's surprising when you see... Megan Thee Stallion watches anime. You think she's going to go to a con and get with a nerd? Freak out of here, I don't think. I don't, I don't think. Freak out of here, bro. Do you don't know what the heck is going on. You don't know what time it is out here. That's why you lost. And you got no bitches. <laughs> yeah, you go. You always go with this shit. You think I go with this shit? Simple as that. You're going to be saying this shit to the Timmy We all men. You ain't got, you no, ain't got no idea what's going on out here, my nigga. I need, to, I need to work on you and educate you some more. You need some help. I need to take you under my wing. You know, <laughs> I need to go and take you under my wing, bucko. I'm saying, man. I need to show you what time it is out here. It's a lot of fly chicks out here in the world that are are into nerd shit. And they will talk to nerds. It's just a nerd Cap. have to want to. It's a nerd. Cap. A nerd dude will have to come to want to talk to her. Like Cap. for instance, Jody is a nerd. I'm I'm, 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 a nerd. Cap, I can say nigga. I'm gonna say this. I, I'm into nerd shit. Go but find a cat. Me and him can walk up. What's we can go talk here? to females. We are not afraid to talk to women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure enough. But I'm the one gonna get him. And you get nothing. Oh, shut <laughs> up. You got me fucked up. He, 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 fuck you. At the end of the day, when you say That's nerds, you I'm not talking about nerds like <laughs> us. I'm talking about even like nerdy, nerdy geek nerds. Could miss me with that bullshit you saying here, E man. You lying. You, got you lying saying, oh, there's a lot of pretty girls. Don't let them Twitch models and, and YouTubers the, the, who dress. The cosplay, the, the dudes be coming with Don't let them cosplay, cons. them cosplay. They be bitches. walking with them girls and some of them girls, some of them girls, some of them girls be cute. And them cosplays, bro. And they ain't getting with no dweebs. Those are the same chicks trying to get with the freaking rich motherfuckers, bro. Selling themselves on Pinterest and shit. Them bras ain't up a hose most of the time, bro. Don't let them freaking hookers and prostitutes who wear Pokemon and cosplay fool you. They're not real nerds. They wear that shit to look skimpy on YouTube and on Twitch to get donations from dweebs, bro. They ain't giving them niggas the time of day in reality. They see them at McDonald's. These are the same bitches. A nerd be like, I, I, I donate to you. She'll freaking run out the back door. <laughs> God dang, this motherfucker. Hey, man, our passport bros weak. They can be, but they're not weak for going overseas. They could be weak. They could be weak before they got their passport. That makes them weak. But are they weak for being passport bros? Absolutely not. That's my take. He's trash. Thank He's you guys right. so very much for watching. I'm Jody Joe. And I'm out this thing. Deuces. I hope you guys find love no matter where it is, no matter what country it is. But like I say, if you have a problem and you have the means of fixing it, God dang it, get the freak out of here. America ain't got nothing for you. Go down there to bark, 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 and go fix that shit.